Welcome. My name is Jason Miller. I'll be showing you how to manage QuickBooks today. We're going to just be creating a bill. It's a very simple, short video, but it's very important for you to keep your accounting on point. Let's begin. In QuickBooks Online, this is the dashboard. Obviously, I have my client's information all blurred out so that they, we're not sharing anything personal. However, this is the dashboard that anybody is going to be seeing when they first enter QuickBooks. So what you're going to do, and by bill, I mean an expense that you're going to have to pay at some point to one of your vendors. So what you want to do is you go over here to expenses, bills, add a bill, create a bill. Okay. And I don't know what this is. This is autofill from file. I've never used this. As you can see, it's in the beta version. So we're just going to X out of that for now. And then you're going to go to vendor, add new. And this is where you can put all the information for your vendor in here. So in this particular situation, we're just going to call it Jason Miller CPA. And it's going to show the vendor display name. We can put the name. This is going to be Jason Miller the email Jason Miller CPA one at gmail.com. You can put a phone number. I'm not going to put mine for obvious reasons, but name the print on checks. You can also put an address. So we'll just put one, two, three ABC street. And I live in Miami, Florida, three, three, one, eight, oh, and you can put your country information. You can add notes. Here we can add attachments. This is where I like to include like a W4 for the client so that you have the EIN number, all of their personal information, their address, the name, because sometimes companies may have a DBA where they're doing business as a different company. So this is just a good area. You could also add other types of documents, whatever you may need if you have a contract is because all of QuickBooks Online is like a cloud-based program. So you can add your contract here, and then that way you have all of your accounting information in the same spot. So you can go in here and look at a contract, look at the details between you and that particular vendor. Here you can put the ACH information, their bank account number, the routing number. I'm gonna leave this blank because you don't have to have this information. This is where you put the business ID or the social security number. And the best thing about QuickBooks is you can click this little box here and it says track payments for 1099. That way at the end of the year, when you need to send 1099 to all the vendors you've used, you can just run a report and it'll automatically show you all the payments that you made to that particular vendor. Great, great feature. It saves you so much time. And I think it's only like $4 per 1099, something like that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure this isn't a sponsor video, obviously. There's also other things down here, like accounting, your default category. So this is where you can just put whatever type of expense that you may use for this particular vendor. So in my case, I'm an accountant. So we're going to say professional services, accounting. We can click save and then watch how cool QuickBooks is. We go here and it says the vendor name is Jason Miller, Jason Miller CPA, 123 ABC Street, Miami, Florida, 33180. Amazing. All of my information is right there. So this is where you would put the bill date. So we're just going to use today and terms. These are the different terms. Sometimes you have one due on receipt, net 10 net 15 or net 30 is a very, very common way for a vendor to send you a bill, which basically means they provide the service or the product to you and you don't have to pay them for 30 days. So in another report that I'm going to show you the accounts payable report, you can see exactly when you actually have to pay this particular vendor. Awesome feature because then you know, hey, I, I can save my cash flow today and pay this vendor on time as long as I pay them within 30 days. Now, since this is an example, I'm just going to make bill number 1001. With bill number, it's not necessary. QuickBooks doesn't need one. You can leave this blank, but it's actually a great idea to just go ahead and put your bill numbers. It keeps your accounting cleaner. And the best reason to make sure you keep all your bill numbers is because I know personally, as somebody who's been doing accounting for a long time, I've seen vendors try to charge me 
or my clients for the same invoice multiple times. Well, if you have the invoice number, then you can go right into QuickBooks, find the invoice, see that, hey, this invoice has already been paid. As long as you sh can show that the payment was made and they can see it on their side, I've never seen any problems. But if you don't have a track record, then it really makes your life much more difficult for you to find that ACH, see the check, whatever the case may be. You have to actually look all that information up and then send it to the client. So the best way to do it is to just put the bill number so that you know, hey, they're charging me twice for bill 1001. Here's my payment support. You send that over to the client. Maybe they just had an error on their accounting side. They see the payment came in. Everything's clean. No problem. Very, very nice feature. I definitely recommend always putting your bill number. So here on the category, because we saved it as professional services accounting, it automatically comes up. Now, if we need to change that to like processing fees or legal, whatever the case may be, we can do that. And right here, we'll put compilation completed by Jason Miller CPA. You could put whatever the description is, if it's for pest services or if it's for a product you use in your business. Maybe you need bleach for cleaning the floors, whatever the case is. It's a good idea to put description. It just makes it cleaner, especially if you're reporting to your boss or you have partners in your company. Whatever the case may be, it's, it's nice to have a description. Again, it's not necessary. Now, what is necessary is the amount. So for here, we're going to put $2,000 and it automatically shows up here as balance due $2,000. And this is basically it. Upload from the vice. This is where you put attachments. I highly, highly recommend to always upload the invoice. Since this is just a tutorial video, I don't have an invoice that I can upload, but you just click on upload and then boom, here's all your downloads, your desktop. We'll put my business card, boom, saves the business card and then save and close, bill was saved. So then we go to expenses, vendors. We can search for Jason Miller CPA. There we are right there, pulls me up, hide that, there's the bill. Invoice number 1001, the payee is Jason Miller for $2,000, professional fees, accounting services. And we know it's due in 30 days, so we can schedule a payment. And that's it. That's how you make a bill for any type of expense you may have. It's a really, really simple system, and I highly recommend you try using it. Thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you like this content. I will be doing a complete series, and we'll see you again soon.